has a sort of like a vanilla -y, vanilla -y. it is magnetic wow gonna get my three second beauty light right here hello everybody this is makeup noob here i hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic start to the new year 2018 i know that keeping up with new year's resolutions can be so so hard as it has been for me in the past week but you know to make us all feel a little bit better i decided to film this video on the new buxom pout on the prowl lip set so in this lip set you are supposed to receive one lip polish and one bowl gel lipstick from the buxom brand but before i actually get into showing you the products and you know swatching it on my hands and on my lips i want to just read to you the description that sephora has on this product so let's see what sephora has to say okay so um on the Sephora website, under product details, it says that get ready for a fierce festive look with this satin finish bold gel lipstick in a ravishing holiday rush of red. It's moisturizing and pigmented for intense one-stroke color. Finish your look with a tingling, shimmering, full-on lip polish, and you are all set to prowl, play, and slay. Okay, so it says that you are supposed to get 0 0.09 ounces or 2.8 grams of the lip polish um, and 0 0.07 ounces or 2 milliliters of the big and sexy bold gel lipstick okay so yeah and it says that the um, the lipstick and the lip polish is apparently formulated with peptides and hydro high hyaluronic acid booster to support natural collagen build volume and plumped perfection without irritation so it's supposed to be a more i guess natural healthy way to plump your lips because i know that a lot of lip plumpers out there can be very harsh on your lips because they use harsh chemicals to cause almost a sort of allergic reaction which causes your lips to become plumper so I guess that Buxom is trying to advertise that their plumping materials in their lipstick slash uh, lip polish is not harmful or supposed to be not harmful for your lips so now getting on into the actual products themselves um, we're gonna start out with the lip polish which is in the shade I believe Dominique. So this is what it looks like. If my camera will focus. Yeah. It's a very pretty, almost like white glittery kind of a celestial feel, I guess. Like it doesn't, the reflex that it gives off is more white so you don't get like a duochrome or a hollow effect. Um, and while it may look white, in the actual tube itself like it's a basically a clear base with some flecks of the glitter in it and then you get the buxom bold gel lipstick in the shade toxic cherry which is a super super like true red i think it's more of like a warm youthful kind of red um but what you get in this is actually a really good size like i'm pretty sure that that is a full tube of lipstick like the um the lip polish that one was a mini size because normally the buxom lip polishes are almost like twice the size they're just about the same the lip polish and the lipstick and usually the lip polishes are about like twice if not more of this size but this looks like a pretty good sized amount of lipstick and it is a really pretty color and what I love about the packaging is that it is magnetic so it will stick on its own which I think is really cool it's something unique that I haven't really seen in any of the other lipsticks that I own so right about now you should be seeing some hand swatches of the actual lipstick 
So I'm going to start off with the Toxic Cherry. And so it claims that it is very pigmented, which it really is with one stroke. I got so much pigment. And it is a really beautiful red. It is so pretty. Um, the lip polish in the shade Dominique. It's kind of hard to see if you don't like shine a flashlight on it or something like that. Um, or if you're not out in daylight, like in the room, it's kind of hard to see the actual glitters. Um, but it is a really, really pretty lip polish and I really do love it. It really complements the lipstick and I'll have a little swatch of the lip polish on top of the lipstick and the two really do look amazing together and I think that it will be perfect for any holiday, Valentine's, honestly any day, any time. It looks really pretty on top of each other and I honestly really love this product so far so I hope that you guys can check it out. I don't know if Sephora still has it or not. I managed to get it on sale for I think like seven, eight or nine dollars but it is, I think that it is worth the money that you give because you do get a lot of product. You get a full size lipstick and you get um, a mini size of the, uh, what's it called, the lip polish, which is still a pretty good size. I mean, it's not like they're ripping you off or anything, no. I think they do give a good amount of product for what you pay for. So without further ado, I'm going to be swatching the lipstick and the lip polish on my lips. So let me just wipe this off. Um, have you guys noticed I've been testing out this product before? I just wanted to kind of get a feel for it so that I can give you guys a more accurate review of what it actually is like. Um, let me know in the comments down below, you guys, if there are any other holiday products or anything that you guys have fell in love with or that you want me to review. Um, I do have other value gift set review things coming up in future videos, so let me know if you guys would like to see that. I've got stuff from Bare Minerals, um, another one from Buxom, I think that's actually coming today. And I've got one of those holiday um, gift things with like the purchase like $25 or above. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stop rubbing my lips raw now and actually get to the lipstick. So you guys are scooted in and I'm sorry for my concealer lips. I think I rubbed my lips off with that towel a little bit too much. Um, so I'm gonna be trying on the lipstick first and I'm um, sorry if I keep looking like that direction because I've got a mirror going on there so I don't screw this up for you guys but here we go wow that is some pigment you guys and it has a sort of like a vanilla vanilla <laughs> vanilla ish scent to it um, it's not too strong at all. No, it's actually kind of nice. And the uh, way that the, the shape of the actual lipstick is really nice because it is kind of easy to get into the corners or crevices of your lips, I guess. Alright, so now I'm going to be trying on the lip polish on top of it. So without further ado... Ooh! That feels really moisturizing and soft actually. shine you guys wow but see what I mean like you can't really can't really see the glitters that much 
Okay, I'm gonna get my three second beauty light right here and um, let's see if we can get some look of the glitter going on with this. Um, can you see that? I guess I see something. Do I? I don't know. Let me know if you see the glitters. Like, you could see it in person. But, like, on camera, it's... I don't know. It's weird. You can't really see it much, but... It is really pretty. I do feel the tingling a little bit. It's not burning or anything at all. Um, one thing to note, though... Um, I did try this layered on top of each other before and I noticed that the lipstick underneath would kind of feather out so it wouldn't keep like the nice defined line that it has right now. Um, when the lip gloss went on top of it, I think that because it's like a gel formula, it moves around a lot easier than it would if it were like pure matte, like not that moisturizing. Um, but I mean like I guess if you focus the lip gloss on the inside and kind of like pat it in and not completely saturate your lips with it then I guess the like feathering effect would not be as bad but I don't know you guys I'm really happy with this product highly 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 recommend it for you guys because it is super moisturizing it is super wearable, great for parties, holidays, everything, dates, anything. I mean, the gloss by itself or put on top of the lipstick is really nice. It's not sticky, it's smooth, it's moisturizing. I think it's a really good product. So, yeah, that's my review. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know that it might have dragged on a little longer than expected, but... I had a really fun time filming it and I hope that you guys liked it. Please leave a thumbs up or comment, like, subscribe, and let me know um, what things you guys are looking for, what videos you guys want to see in the future. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video.